everybody, it's Kathleen from the Bozeman Public Library in the Children's Department. I'm here to do another story time with you, and I'm so excited you decided to watch this. We never know if anyone watches our videos, so I'm really happy you're here, and we'd love, love it in the comments of um, our Facebook page about this event if you could put some comments on what you liked. So. Let's get started. So it's been a week since the first day of fall, so I wanted to read a book about fall. And we can think about the different things that we see out in our environment that show us that fall is coming. So let's think for a minute. Have you noticed any signs of fall already? They're already here. Have you noticed anything on the trees? Right, the leaves are changing. Have you noticed the temperature is getting a little cooler, especially at night? What about the light? It's darker earlier, and early in the morning it's darker. So the light changes. Has anyone heard some geese honking up in the air that are, are migrating south to where it's warmer? That's another sign of fall. We also harvest our gardens. So our craft is going to be this fun little headband that you put on your head like this, and it says signs of autumn. And I've got all sorts of things that you'll cut out in color. I also added real leaves to mine because I love real leaves, but there's harvest and leaves and pumpkins, and oh, we have to wear warmer clothing. There's those geese flying south. So you'll get to make one of these. You can come by the library and pick up a piece of paper and some um, construction paper and make one. Let's see, before we get started, I wanted to ask you guys, why do you think leaves change color? We've got, this is from the mountain ash tree. That's the tree that has those really orangish red berries and bears love to eat them. And this is what they look like in the fall. And these were from the same tree, but this one hasn't turned yet. So you can see what do you see in that leaf? I see green, I see some veins. That's how they get nutrients and water. And then look at this one. Do you see how down here it's red and yellow and up here there's still some green? Still a little bit of green. And how that happens is that all summer long the leaves are green and these colors are underneath there. We just can't see them because there's so much chlorophyll. That's what leaves used to make food from the sunlight. And as they go and get sunlight and have chlorophyll from the sunlight, they make it green. But then when we start having less sunlight, the chlorophyll starts to leave because it can't make it anymore. And it's been in the sun a long time. And then all the chlorophyll, is it hasn't gone out of these yet, but it's gone out of this one. I don't see any green in there. So those colors are underneath the green. And as fall comes, they change color. We have this great book at the library called Why Leaves Change Their Color. I wanted to show you one thing. Oh, it says, during the, season, during the growing season, photosynthesis goes on full blast. That's how they make that chlorophyll. Leaves make lots of chlorophyll. They need a steady supply. Sunlight breaks chlorophyll down. This happens in the same way that sunlight fades colored paper. Leaves also make carotenoids to help the chlorophyll. Why are leaves green if yellow and orange is there? Well, look at bananas for clues, it says. As bananas ripen, they turn from green to yellow. Yellow color is there all along. But the chlorophyll hides it. When chlorophyll breaks down, yellow colors show through. Let's read a fun book. I've got this silly book called Wonderful. Now, you might know wonderful, like if something's wonderful, it's great. But they made a play on words, and it says wonderful. So it's all these wonderful things about fall or autumn. And they play this word trick all throughout. Now this is written and um, illustrated by Michael Hall. Thank you, Michael Hall, for letting us share your book. And Green Willow Books Press is the publisher, so thanks for letting us read. Look at that beautiful tree. Peaceful, instead of peaceful. Peaceful, a gentle breeze. Oh, 
A gentle breeze is jiggling me. I hear my acorns drop, plink, plunk, plop. Duty fall. Beep, the busy yellow bus is back. I haven't seen it since last spring. That's a sign of school, of autumn going back to school. Plenty fall. Apples, apples, ready to munch. Red, yellow, green, crunch, crunch. Beautiful. Autumn colors all around, and look, Russell, Russell, I'm dressed for the season, too. We yeah, gotta wear those warm clothes, don't we? Because it's getting chilly. Eventful. I've got the spot for this parade. Tap, boom, tap, boom, tap, boom. A fall parade. Oh, frightful. Halloween. Howling cats and fluttering bats. Welcome, ghosts and goblins. Tonight the streets belong to you. Boo! I love that page. Illustrations. Thankful. Gather together, gobble, gobble, yum, yum. Maybe that's for Thanksgiving. Delightful. What? This? Oh my, what's this? Oh my, my friends found a piece of pumpkin pie. Playful. Look who's chasing in my branches. Look who's romping in my leaves. I think that's the tree talking. <laughs> I think it's the tree talking. Horse fall. Whoosh, whoosh, whoa. What wild whirling wind. That's a lot of W's. Whoosh, whoosh, what wild whirling winds. Help fall. Hooray, hooray, the cleanup crew arrived today. Resource fall. Chopped bag stomped and stowed. My leaves will make marvelous mulch. Mulch is what you can put on your garden in the fall, leaves, and it helps protect the plants, and it also gives a place for insects to live during the winter. Wistfall. Goodbye, geese. I'm so sad to see you go. There they go. Watchfall. See the mist, hear the quiet, smell the cold. Will this night Bring the first. What do you think? Will this night bring the first? Oh, I knew it. Snowfall. That's coming soon. Look at all the fun things we can do in winter. That's an interesting little book. It's wonderful. Let's do. Remember, we were talking about signs of fall. I forgot to show you these beautiful pictures I have. So the changing leaves, there's those geese. This is called a chevron formation. And the front goose, they take turns being the leader. That's the hardest place. And they all take turns flying. And back here, it's a little easier for these geese because the wind isn't so strong. Oh, another thing we haven't seen, scarecrows. And raking of leaves, pumpkins, and what's this? Can you see the frost on the leaves from the cold nights? Oh, we harvest our food and we wear warmer clothes. Parents, you can come by the library and get this fantastic handout called Science, Math, and Games with Leaves. That's some fun little things you can do at home with your kids with leaves. Oh, let's do another story. Let's see. This one is called My Autumn Book. And it is written and illustrated by Wong Herbert Yee. And it's published by Henry Holt and Company. Thanks for letting me read this book to my friends. Look at this beautiful illustration. Looks like they used colored pencils, doesn't it? The air is crisp, the sky turns gray. Is autumn really on its way? Downstairs I rush, I can hardly wait go outside and investigate. I'm hearing some rhyming words, are you? Wait, investigate. Let's listen for more rhymes. 
In a corner of the garden shed, Spider spins a silken thread. Hello, Spider, what are you weaving? Is it true that summer is leaving? Crickets chirping in the clover, another sign the warm days are over. Clover over. A chilly wind blows, I zip my jacket. From the treetops, I hear a racket. A racket is a noise. The buzzing gets louder, it fills the air. Cicadia is warning us, better beware. Summer is leaving, autumn is coming. Woodpecker agrees, rap a tap drumming. Chipmunk, chipmunk scampers past, seeds packed in its cheeks, finding food for the upcoming weeks. Squirrel digs a hole to bury its treasure. Squirrel is expecting a change in the weather. Caterpillar knows it's time to build a cocoon. Kuryak Blue Jay cries, autumn is soon. Lots of birds in this book. Geese honk above and fly south in formation. Trees dressing up for a fall celebration. Dogwood shows off a new crimson gown. Oak changes into a suit of rusted brown. Ash cloaked in yellow, maple wears red, aspen a crown of gold on its head. Together they whisper and sway in the breeze, shaking loose acorns in batches of leaves, swirling and twirling, twirling leaves spinning round, a whirlwind of color that blankets the ground. Lots of rhyming. I search high and low, find one of each, a ginkgo, a willow, an elm, birch, and beech. Those are all trees. Summer is leaving, falls on its way, the seasons are changing, no time to delay. I dash up into my room and I open the door, emptying my pack, spreading things on the floor. I find a jar of acorns, fetch scissors and glue, a pad of paper and crayons too. What do you think she's gonna do? I decorate pages, arrange to make space. There, it's all done, everything in its place. When crickets no longer sing late at night and the world outside has turned cold black and white, I'll lie by the fire with my book and remember until autumn returns once more in September. It's a sweet little book, isn't it? We didn't talk very much about the changing of seasons. So we are in the very beginning of autumn, also called fall. And do you remember what the season was that we just left where it's warm and sunny and we swim and we play outside? That's right, summer. Before summer, it was spring. And before spring, it was white, whistling snow, winter. So the seasons go in an order. It goes winter, spring, summer, fall. And it does that all year long, winter, spring, summer, fall. And this book is called Sing a Season Song. Look at that little frog. This is a song or a, a book about songs, about seasons. Let's see what this is about. Snow, snow, shiver and blow, ice popsicles, drip drop, and dropsicles. That's winter. High balling, low balling, everyone's snowballing. And it keeps going on snowing. Look at all those animals. Snowflakes on snow cakes and pictures the frost makes. Fingers and toes freeze and cold makes my nose sneeze. Turn the heat on, then winter is gone. Do you remember what comes after winter? Let's see, you might be able to tell. Frogs, trees, hum, bumblebees, blossoms and possums and gossamer breeze. Springtime. Daffodils on the hills. Pillows of lawn. First rabbit. First robin. First baby fawn. 
then springtime is gone. Aren't those illustrations just beautiful? Beautiful look. Water waves, shimmering days, toes wiggle, fish wriggle in a strange haze. We change seasons again. It's summertime. Run over, turn over, days shine at night. Oh, that is so beautiful, isn't it? Wow. Winking out, blinking out, firefly light, off again, on again, then summer is gone again. What's after summer? Where we are right now, autumn. Leaf, leaves drifting from trees. Capture and keep them, fling them, and leap them. Look at all that beautiful animals. Pumpkins and gourds and the clamor of herds, honking geese versus, and the bare bones of trees. I made that wrong. It's honking geese V's and the bare bones of trees. Remember that chevron formation is a V? The very first freeze making berry red knees, late later down, then autumn is gone. What's after autumn again? Winter. Round we all go, shiver and blow, and here once again comes the snow. What a fabulous book. So you can come by the library and pick up your Signs of Autumn headband. We also have this really fun craft where you have a, a, a tree and then you get these beautiful pieces of tissue paper to glue on. So you can pick up all of these things. I'll show you some of these beautiful tissue paper leaves. Let's see, I'll shake them around in there so you can see all the colors. Look at all those beautiful fall colors. There's some orange and red in there. Come by the library and get those. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me for story time. I would love to know what you think, if you're watching, if you like these story times, what you might like differently in them. And so grateful that you joined me. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week.